An umbilical venous catheter, or UVC, is placed in the umbilical cord when an infant requires IV access for emergency medications and fluids, if it has been difficult to place a peripheral IV in a timely manner, if more than one line of access is needed, for administration of glucose with a concentration more than 12.5% dextrose, and when an exchange transfusion is necessary. The umbilical vein is the larger, more thin-walled opening in the umbilical cord. It is typically located in the 12 o'clock position. There are different sizes of catheters based on the infant's weight. For infants less than 1.5 kilograms, there are 3.5 French catheters. For infants over 1.5 kilograms, there are five French catheters. There are single and double lumen catheters. A double lumen catheter can be used to infuse medications and IV fluids simultaneously. Use sterile technique when assembling the supplies. Connect a stopcock to the catheter and flush with normal saline. After the catheter is primed, close the stopcock to the catheter to prevent air from entering or fluid loss. Note which direction is off on the stopcocks used in your facility. Place infant supine and secure limbs with blankets and tape. Position the baby on a triangular shaped baby blanket. Cover the baby's head, then tuck the baby blanket under shoulders. Roll the blanket around the arms, then tuck the end of the blanket under the baby's legs and buttocks. Roll the blanket around the baby's legs. Wrap small white cloths around the arms and the legs. Place silk tape over the small cloths, then secure onto a radiant warmer. The cord will be tied, cleaned, and trimmed. The umbilical tie will be tied loosely and can be tightened if there is excess bleeding. Be sure the tie is not compromising skin perfusion if it is placed around the skin. Hold the umbilical cord upward with a hemostat or forceps using gentle traction while the cord is being prepped with betadine. The cord will be trimmed using a scalpel. The depth of the catheter insertion will be measured and inserted until blood can be aspirated and the line can be easily flushed. Verify placement with an abdominal x-ray. After confirming the line is in the correct placement, it will be sutured in place. The umbilical tape should be loosened but not removed for 12 to 24 hours. Clean remaining betadine from the skin to prevent irritation or skin breakdown. When applying a dressing to secure the UVC, apply a hydrocolloid base layer. Loop the catheter so there is a stress loop to avoid accidental migration of the line. Then apply a transparent film dressing on top. The dressing should not cover the insertion site so the centimeter marking is still visible. Maintain an airtight system to prevent air bubbles from infusing into the baby. When giving medications or flushing, attach the syringe to the available stopcock port. Turn the stopcock so it is open between the syringe and the catheter. Assess the color of the infant's extremities, check pulses, and note the centimeter marking at the stump to monitor for catheter migration. Gather and prepare all necessary supplies for the provider. Safely secure the infant's limbs using a swaddle blanket and tape. Note the centimeter marking at the umbilical stump and secure the umbilical line to the infant's abdomen.